Hi, this is Rob Krieger at the Red Rock Golf Center. Today we are down in Mesquite, Nevada at the Oasis Golf Club. And what we want to do today is we want to talk a little bit about how to hit your hybrids and your fairway woods. For a lot of you, hitting your hybrids and fairway woods are very difficult. They're a lot longer, they don't have as much loft. So what we want to try to do is I want to try to give you a couple tips that should help in a way for you to practice in order for you to get better and better and better at it. The main thing as you hit these, the difference between your hybrids and your fairway woods, your fairway woods generally have a lot bigger sole on the bottom and they're meant to glide across the ground. Your hybrids, even though they're a little bit narrower, have a little bit more weight in the bottom of them and that's going to help get that golf ball up. If you're having trouble with these, a lot of times the problems that people have is their hands start to come down too soon and they find themselves pulling up and getting on their back foot in this arm chicken wings and they hit behind them, they top them, and they're not making very good contact. The key to hitting good fairway woods and hybrids is to make sure that number one, as you go back, you don't want to do a lot with your hands. This club is a lot longer than your irons, and it's made to glide across the grass, not hit down into it. Some people will take divots with them, but generally if you can hit through the golf ball as opposed to down to it, you're going to be much better off. So what we try to do on these, we play the golf ball about three inches or four inches off of our left heel, off our front foot. From that point, what we want to do is, we want to make sure we take this club back, keeping our left arm nice and straight. Some of you have a tendency to get too much wrist hinge in there. That's great once you get a little bit more, once you get better contact, but for right now that's not necessary. We want to make sure we get our arms back, we keep our left arm straight, and our weight gets to our back foot. Then from this point, we want to bring our whole body back through it with our hands ahead. We would come through and then get our weight on our front foot. As long as we get our weight from our back foot to our front foot and have a little bit of rhythm, that should help. The other issue that I see is people get up to here and then they rush down. Having too fast of a transition doesn't serve you well because that's generally meaning the body is out of sync. You're not allowing the body, the arms, the, the legs, and the whole torso to work together. We want to have a little bit of rhythm. You got to have a little bit of patience with it. We don't want to start off doing it too fast. So you want to take the club back at the same pace and come through at the same pace, letting the club go back and come through. So it should look something like this. Get the golf ball in that position, take it back to here, and then come on through. As we do that, now our body comes through and we get that club through. Now notice, took a little bit of turf, but all I'm trying to do is just brush that grass. I don't want to feel like I have to hit down on it and I don't want to feel like I want to lift it. I want to make sure that as I hit this golf ball, I am going through it, horizontally moving my body, going in this direction, not up. Okay, so let's get our weight on our back foot. So we go back and through. Okay, So that's how you hit fairway woods and hybrids. Give it a shot and I hope it'll help you. Again, this is Rob at the Red Rock Golf Center and today we just happen to be down at Oasis Golf Course in, in Mesquite, Nevada, outdoors. I hope that helps you with your game and again, as always, fairways and greens.